Hello, welcome to this episode of Real Life, the video diary that helps you to understand what life is like living with an electric unicycle. And in this episode, I want to give my five top tips for new riders. Tips that are going to help you to learn to ride quickly, safely and confidently. And these are the five things, I guess, that I wish somebody had told me before I started. And if you're an experienced rider watching this, don't tune out. Please join in the comments below and tell me what you think of my tips. Are they good tips? Are they bad tips? But add your own advice. What are the things that you wish you'd been told before you started riding? So here we go, my five top tips in around about five minutes. Let's go. So here we go. Counting down for five. Tip number five. Find a nice open space where you can practice. Somewhere you're not going to be watched because you don't want to be embarrassed as you're learning to ride by people pointing, staring and laughing at you. So find a nice quiet place like I've got here. Now you're going to fall off. Before we go any further, you will fall off. Uh, find something nice and flat. You don't want anything too steep. People try to learn on grass. That's fine, as long as it's smooth. Sometimes grass can be really kind of lumpy and bumpy, and that can be kind of hard work. So find somewhere that's nice and smooth and flat. Concrete's great, tarmac is great, but if you fall off it, you are gonna bash your wheel. So maybe think about packing your wheel up in some protective um, strip. The tip is about protecting yourself. And make sure that you are wearing some kind of protection. Think about a helmet. It doesn't need to be uh, a full face helmet like this one. A bicycle helmet will do. But wear some kind of protection. You are going to fall off. And yes, most of the times you fall off, it's going to be a little stumble. You're going slowly. You'll just step off the wheel and walk away just like this. So wear protection. I would say uh, if you can, wear knee pads and a pair of gloves. Because if you fall, you're going to, your hands are your protectors. They go out. So wear a pair of gloves. But my tip, tip number five is this. Think about the shoes you're going to wear. This is tip number five. Because I've never seen a rider that has not had this injury. And that is where you come into a stop or you're falling off your wheel and you stumble off the wheel. And in your falling off, you catch the inside of your ankle on the foot plate. This is tip number five. Wear boots that have got some kind of covering over the ankle because you will, guaranteed, come off and you will bash your foot on the side of the foot plate. Every rider has got that injury. So that's tip number five, protection, but wear a high-sided uh, covering over your ankle because that really, really does hurt. Let's move on to tip number four. And here is tip number four. And that is to spend time getting to know how to control your wheel before you try to ride it. Now that's counterintuitive because what you wanna do is jump on your wheel and ride it. You've seen other people doing it, how hard can it be? But my tip is spend time learning how to control the wheel, how it feels under your feet. And that looks easy when I'm doing it here, but believe me, when you put your foot in it for the first time, that feels really alien. So choose your most confident leg. Imagine you're about to get on a push scooter. Which is the foot that you'd put onto the scooter and which is the foot that you would push on the ground with? So the foot that would go on the scooter, choose that as your most confident leg, pop it onto the foot plate, and spend time getting to know how it feels and how to control it. So feel the weight of the wheel leaning into your leg and feel how it is to move it backwards and forwards. Now the wheel is controlled by balance, by shifting your weight. If you put your feet forward onto your toes, you pressure onto your toes, it'll go forwards onto your ankles, to your heels, it'll go backwards. So just get used to that. How does it feel pushing that, rocking it backwards and forwards? Spend time doing that, because that is really important. If you've got control over your wheel like that, that's going to give you more confidence for the next tip, which is tip number three. So here's tip number three, and that is now you've got control of the wheel, is to learn how to scoot, scoot with confidence. So you can push it backwards and forwards, and now try taking a few confident pushes off and scoot forward and scoot to success. Now think about it, if you try and ride a bicycle, trying to get on a bicycle and just jump on it and stand perfectly still, it's going to be really difficult. It's not, it's not easy to do that. You're going to just jump on a bicycle and think you're going to be okay. The unicycle is exactly the same. So with a few scoots, you can scoot, maybe take one or two pushes away like this. One, two, and then put your foot on it and you're riding. Sounds easy, but it takes a bit of practice. So scoot to success, that is tip number three. So now we're scooting confidently, we're wrapped up, we're protected, we've got control of the wheel. We're scooting, we're taking our first few nervous steps onto the wheel and it starts to feel really alien to be doing this and out of control, there's nothing to hold on to. And the temptation is you're gonna look down at your feet. So tip number two is, chin up and look at the horizon. Look at where you're going. If you start to look down at your feet, it's much more difficult to balance. So you've taken your confident scoops, lift your chin up, look at the horizon and with confidence go. So that's tip number two. Chin up, 
eyes forward and look at where you're going. Sounds obvious, makes a big difference. And that takes me to tip, top tip number one. Here we go, here is my top tip, tip number one. And even as I'm saying this, I know this sounds counterintuitive. Because what I'm gonna say is, pick up a bit of speed. Actually going a little bit faster will help you to stay balanced. And that sounds really wrong because it feels like everything is way too fast, you're out of control. But actually think about it again, on the bicycle, if you go really slowly, stand still, it's difficult to stay balanced. Even experienced riders will say that it is more difficult to ride a unicycle slowly than it is quickly. That's an important skill to have because you need to be able to maneuver around people and around situations. So do, you do need to learn how to ride slowly, but actually when you're learning, pick up a bit more speed. Believe me, you won't be going 20 miles an hour. It'll feel like you're going 100 miles an hour. You're probably only doing about six or seven, but it feels out of control. But if you're trying to go one or two miles an hour, it's really difficult. So pick up a bit of speed and you'll find that, that will help you to stay balanced. Don't worry. If you've taken my advice sensibly and you've got uh, helmets and pads on, you're going to be fine. So let's have a quick recap of my tips. Tip number five, wear protection. Really important. But think about covering your ankles because believe me, that really, really does hurt. People don't talk about that, but we all know it. Tip number four, get control of your unicycle. One foot on it, know how it feels, backwards and forwards. Uh, if you've got a light wheel, a small wheel, or a big wheel, they all respond differently. So learn how your wheel reacts. And then tip number three, scoop to success. Once you've got confident control of your wheel, take some confident scoops, two, three, four, as many as you need to before you feel able then to put your second foot up on the wheel. And you'll find that then you've got a bit of confidence and control of your wheel. Then tip number two, chin up, eyes forward, stay balanced. Look where you're going, don't look down at your feet, look where you're going my top tip I know it feels scary pick up a bit of speed because it will help you to stay balanced so that is it for this episode a bit different but please join in your comments below if it's helped you tell me if it hasn't helped you tell me that as well give me your advice but make sure you click the like and the subscribe hit the bell for notifications when things go live and join in so thank you and I hope I'll see you next time on real life